feeling like a different planet here across southeastern Arizona, maybe closer to the sun. Uh, daytime highs well above 100 degrees. Actually, not too bad here in the city of Tucson. This is where Doppler radar has indicated at least the potential for a tornado. So once again, committed to keeping you safe, please take shelter now. Go to your safe spot as this high pressure moves to the north and sets up shop just to the northeast of the state of Arizona. Hopefully in that four corners region that gives us that south slash southeasterly flow that transports all that deep monsoon moisture our way. We can do a lightning count. This is just one half hour, 534 lightning strikes just in that complex alone. By Christmas right in your front yard as we quarter into snow here. Yeah, know? quarter and that was uh, that uh, we're talking about maybe an inch an hour snowfall rates. Oh my god. I'm from the north and that's that's pretty impressive stuff here. So uh, I want to thank you as a meteorologist providing uh, that for me and I'm sure the kids enjoy the just some of what you like, can enjoy there. Yeah, I called it the uh, SEAL Team Broad. Yeah, yeah. I love it. We were on a serious <laughs> mission. You are. I have some like salt water on my forehead still. <laughs> I had a kidding. blast out there. So oh, cool. so much fun. Yeah, yeah, and Crowder's playing there uh, tonight. I'm not okay. sure who Crowder is, awesome. but uh, yeah. a lot of people were psyched to see Crowder. Also, other issuing that storm tracker for alert day for tonight and for tomorrow as well. Valley rain, mountain mm -hmm. snow. If you stepped outside today, you're like, hey, it's mid to upper 70 sunny skies, yeah. but the winds. And that's usually yeah. the thing that indicates that we're going to see a pattern change. Let's get started. I want to show you where that storm is currently located. And you can see it's right there across the Great Basin, really on top of Las Vegas right now. That cold front stretches all the way from Las Vegas, clear down west western sections of Arizona into Baja sections of California into the Pacific Ocean and that is a leading edge of the coolest air the heaviest rain and yes when it hits elevations likely about 6,000 6,500 feet that will transition in the form of some snow for sure live Doppler radar we are scanning the horizons nothing across southeastern Arizona yet that will change pretty quickly. Look at this big blob of green and yellows. That indicates heavy, if not at least moderate rain from time to time. We can sort of time this out for you. The leading edge of some of that heavy rain is right about here. So let's just put this to Tucson, give you an idea of timing. This has the heaviest rain reaching Tucson maybe at 3.30 this morning, tomorrow morning conversely. Also about 2 o'clock in the morning for Marana. That coincides with exactly what we've been talking with that timing. I think the heaviest stuff comes down between 10 o'clock tonight, likely five o'clock early on your Friday morning. In addition, what's new today is those winter weather advisories for the Catalinas, the Rincons, the White Mountains. That has been upgraded to a winter storm warning in places where we did not have those winter weather advisories. Uh, the Dragoon Mountains, the Chiricahuas, the Patagonias, the Huachucas, you're also under that winter weather advisory as well. So what are we thinking about with regards to valley rain? This is pretty much unchanged. I think anywhere from a half an inch to about an inch of rain. And the mountaintops, that's going to translate to about one to two inches of rain. And the heaviest rain, again, falls late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Same timing for the snow. Unchanged our snowfall amounts. I still think 6 to 12 inches of snow above 6,500 feet. We can refine that a little bit. Summer Haven, maybe about a foot of snow. Mountain tops, maybe 10 to about 18. That's a foot and a half of snow in the higher terrain. Again, the timing late tonight early tomorrow morning. Impacts, heaviest rain occurs overnight hours. Beware of that standing water and of course running washes always turn around, don't drown. And most importantly, allow a little extra time, you know, leave a little extra distance between you and the nearest car. Snow covered roadways, again, elevations about 6,500 feet. Live look from 12th and Valencia from our Storm Tracker 4 Skycam network. It looks like those trees are not below. That could be actually paused because I'm seeing no motion in there. We're still seeing some breezy conditions. And look at this, it's 71 degrees at Tucson International Airport. Unbelievable. Uh, 69 Marana, 69 Sabino Canyon. But here's what I really want to show you. Look at what's happening right now in places like Ajo, typically much warmer than Tucson, you're at 58 degrees, a full, what, 13 degrees cooler than Tucson. That is courtesy of what we call FROPA, Frontal Passage. Cold Front has moved through Ajo, headed this way. Here it is, your Storm Tracker 4 10-day tracker. Another alert day tomorrow, 100% chance of rain favoring the morning hours, then it will clear up a little bit with those sun breaks. Could see some isolated showers, possibly a thunderstorm as well tomorrow. Nothing severe, 20% chance of morning showers early Saturday, 56 about 60 on Sunday, 72, a nice day on Monday, 70 Tuesday, and it looks like system number two starts rolling around through the middle portions of next work week. So again, looking for a tagline, heaviest stuff. Looks like it's going to happen when we're sleeping tonight, Sean. Oh. That's a good thing, but heads up, allow a little extra time for that morning commute on your Friday. Absolutely. All right, thank you, Matt, and keep track of this storm. 
Storm Tracker 4, Chief Meteorologist Matt Bro checks back in. I'm surprised you weren't outside getting a little <laughs> sun and taking in that beautiful weather Shots. out there. It is there. so yeah. nice. I'm, my muscle memory tells me it's winter, but then you look yeah. outside and you look at the temperature and it says otherwise. Yeah, yeah, it sure does. What a beautiful day of weather. Only the first time this 2024 that we've been on the north side of 80 degrees. Only the second time since winter started. Average high this time of year, 68. So a full 14 degrees above seasonable averages for this time of year. That comes changing, though. Here's what we'll be tracking. Breezes will pick up as we make our way into the day tomorrow on your Wednesday cooling down but when you take 82 degrees even you cool down 10 to 12 degrees we're still yeah above average this time of year so a nice looking day on Wednesday and then finally we're tracking a little bit of rain next work week confidence a little bit higher today than it was at this time yesterday as the models are coming into a better sort of agreement with how things are going to play out let's head outside it's our storm tracker for sky cam network over the Tucson mountains into the city below uh, last check of the airport temperature double sevens how about that not bad for a February day 12 percent the relative humidity winds are light from the north northwest to five miles per hour. One holdout still at 80 degrees, Casa Zadobes, but we're tracking temperatures primarily into the mid 70s across the city of Tucson, 65 in Oracle and into Cochise and Santa Cruz County. That's where temperatures even into the 70s. Some of the warmer spots, 72, for example, down in Nogales. As we look at lows early Wednesday morning, it looks like it's going to be in the mid to upper 40s. Sweatshirt weather, the bus stop, sure, but probably not the heavy jackets we've been accustomed to over the course of the last month or so. 30s in Wilcox, Benson, and Douglas, and that's going to be about it. No spots below freezing. Daytime highs tomorrow, as we said, sharply cooler, but still upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Into Cochise and Santa Cruz County, it's a story of temperatures primarily into the 60s. Atmospheric River version 2 across Southern California. High pressure over southeastern Arizona keeps all that rain to our north and the west. Off the coast of Oregon and Washington is that area of low pressure that just keeps sweeping in round after round of heavy rain to portions of the Golden State. A little piece of that does come into at least central and northwestern sections of Arizona tomorrow. This is Wednesday at 9 a.m., but then that ridge of high pressure builds in pretty quickly for another rapid warm-up by the weekend. Possible pattern change. This is Tuesday, 6 a.m., so a week from today, more valley rain and mountain snow for southeastern Arizona. Here it is, your Storm Tracker 4 10-day tracker. Breezy tomorrow, 70, 10% chance of a shower to our north, 71 sunny skies Thursday, mid to upper 70s Friday, and hey, it's right back to the 80s for the weekend, and then better rain chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next work week. Looking a lot like spring at times in the 10-day tracker. Sean? Boy, it just looks awesome right through the weekend. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Matt.